there is, you know, the reality side where you have to go, but I have to make sure that we're going to be okay. And the good news is that we are, like, we are going to be okay. And, and the girls are going to be great. We, we are going to, we are going to do things not in spite of this, but because of all of this. And that's hard for a lot of people to understand, but the pain that I'm going through and that the girls are going through, we wouldn't ask for it, but it will make us better people. It will make the girls more empathetic, more understanding. And no, again, we wouldn't choose to have those things happen because we want Ross with us, but lots of good will come and, and I will make sure of that. And the girls, the girls have been amazing. We spoke to them so openly about everything that they're dealing, it one, dealing with it one step at a time. And I'm more than aware that this is not a, oh, that's it then. They're all sorted. Of course it's not, my God. And I know that there, every milestone there will be something, it will feel sad, it will feel painful, but I'm just keeping everything open to the girls and allowing them to talk and, and we talk about Ross. And just like adults, nighttime is harder. You wake up in the morning and it's hard again because you re-remember that he's not here. And they've got all the same questions we have, only they're brave enough to ask them. I'm brave enough to have those conversations and we've talked through everything. We've talked about exactly how he died, what he looked like, the, the last breaths that he took, the last words that he said that I can remember. The We've talked through their last moments. We've talked about the fun things about Ross. We've I've taken them to the crematorium to go through the, the funeral and what will happen at the funeral. And those girls are armed with knowledge, but they're also armed with the knowledge that they don't have to think about it all of the time and that they can laugh and that's okay. And even now, even at this early stage, and people said this would happen, but I suppose, I guess it, I thought it would be later on. But even at this stage, every time I'm doing something, I know what Ross would say, you know? And, and that's comforting to know that, that is comforting. And, and I don't feel sad about that. I, you know, it's it's just, I'm lucky that I had so much time and so many conversations with Ross. Um, that that's a good thing, you know, that, that I know that in whatever situation that I know what Ross would do. <laughs> it's like one of those things, isn't it? Like, I just, I know what he would do and what he would say. And I also know that he would think all this hype around and all the story and in newspapers and whatever, he would think, what a lot of old bollocks and do give the shit about my story. Um, because that's who Ross was. And the past tense thing's hard at the moment, that's new. Um, but we're okay, you know? Um, and I just wanted to sort of reach out and say I'm eating. Um, I'm not sleeping very well at all. And that, you know, that is what it is. I'm not amazing at sleeping anyway. I'm doing all the things, you know, I'm, I'm doing what I should be. I'm resting. I'm doing things to distract. I'm, I feel, I feel like I'm okay. And I know that won't always be the case and, and I'll probably get off this and burst into tears, but that's normal. Someone, yeah. my best friend died. Like, of course I'm going to feel sad. It would be weird otherwise. <laughs> And I didn't want this to be a big crying thing because I didn't, you know, that's, <laughs> but then that's the reality, isn't it? You know, I'm not, I'm not okay all of the time, but I'm all, I'm, you know, I'm not sat here. Maybe seeing me is sometimes better for people or hearing from me because I don't really want to have big conversations with people right now. It's quite overwhelming, but I think sometimes just seeing that I am talking normally, I'm, I'm reacting normally. I'm not, you know, I'm laughing still. I've just been watching some comedy. I'm okay. Um, and I just want to thank you all for being amazing and, and being so supportive. And now we've raised over £10,000 for Might and I didn't even think that that would... God, I put £2,000 down and I thought that'd be amazing if we got that maybe at some point. You guys have flipping blow my mind. Over £10,000. That's incredible. That can do so much good. And that's, that's just wonderful. Like, I, 